the action set optimization so whenever you are configuring an action set you need to do it carefully you need to consider following conditions because each action you add creates a separate http request which might affect your application performance so you need to optimize the performance by reducing the number of actions that you are configuring so you can use a refresh a section when property values are updated on the server and the ui needs to reflect the new values an action got caught in a ch changes a value of a property only in the client but that needs to be submitted to the server as well if you want to update parts of the ui which require removal from the dom object you can also use do not refresh a section when for example you need to submit user in, in input to the clipboard or to the server then you can use a post value action you need not use a refresh section because your only aim is to post that value you can call you need to call a data transform or an activity after a user action for that you directly call it you need not refresh a section you need to recalculate some visibility conditions after some property values are entered in the ui then you can use the checkbox evaluate on client checkbox so that that visibility condition or disability condition runs on the client in the client code and automatically without refresh also the value will be changed value changes in the ui without refreshing so consolidating actions on action set so instead of configuring these many actions because each 1 2 3 4 5 five http requests are formed now rather than that you write a wrapper activity and call all this data transform activity in the in this activity and that wrapper activity also you do not use a run run activity action rather than that use a refresh other section action set and use that uh, call, uh, call that wrapper activity here so here now only one http request is formed first this activity will run then only you are going to refresh the section so that now the important thing is what is the difference between post and refresh section actions refresh section action sends all the pending changes applied to a form back to the server so whatever post value does that automatic already refresh section is doing so before a refresh section action you need not pre configure a post value action so there is no need to use a post value action before a refresh section action a post value will update the server and force all the refresh when conditions to reevaluate once post value action can can affect one post value action can affect several condition using sections using when conditions U using a post value action to refresh all the sections also avoids hard coding the section name in the action set when using a refresh other section so when you use a refresh other section so when you are using refresh other section you need to hard code that section name but instead of that if you use post value if this section is also already included in the current view current screen then automatically it gets refreshed so as you can see here if customer id is invalid no products will be available if customer is valid id is valid then no, these products are available so this section automatically gets reevaluated re, uh, re the visibility conditions on these sections automatically get reevaluated re when the customer id is valued is valid so if you see run activity run data transform set value actions do not send the changes made to a form back to the server only post value and refresh say, this section or refresh actions will send the uh, whatever values you entered in the form to the clipboard and to the server as well if you want to pass some of the changes that are made on a form to an activity or a data transform that you are uh, calling by using run activity or run data transform actions directly then you need to pass the values you entered in the ui to them as parameters thank you